A focus group is asked whether or not they like the new pizza that a restaurant is making. If 24 of the 50 participants liked the pizza, construct a 98% confidence interval for the proportion of all customers who would like the pizza. So we have a sample of 50 people out of the population of all of the customers, and we're going to build a confidence interval that is our best guess for uh, what is the true proportion of, of all the customers who would like that pizza. And that confidence interval works like this. You've got the P hat, that is the um, estimate, that's the point estimate. So that's our, that's our sample data, 24 out of 50. And then minus some margin of error as the lower limit of the confidence interval, and then P hat plus the margin of error for the upper limit of the, um, of the confidence interval. Now, P hat right away, let's just define what that is. That's the 24 positives, 24 who like the pizza out of the sample size of 50. So that P hat is 0.48, or the point estimate is 0.48. Sample size is 50, so I'll just write that down because we're going to need that in a little bit. And we have 98% uh, is our confidence interval. Okay, the error, the margin of error, E, that is given with the Z score multiplied by the square root of p hat times 1 minus p hat. Sometimes um, books will use uh, q there for, for 1 minus p hat. All over n. And let me make sure to show that this is the square root of this entire fraction. Now this z, you could certainly look this up in the table. You've got 98% uh, is the middle part of the, of the uh, normal distribution, but we're going to use Excel. So first of all, let's look at what we're finding. We're saying, what is this score Z? We're going to find this score Z. There's a negative Z over here as well. But what is this score Z such that you have 98% in the middle, which would leave then just 1% on each side. So 0 0.01 right there. Or, right, and 0 0.01 on the other side. 0 0.01. Or you could say that this value z has an area of 0.99 to its left. And this is what we're going to use for Excel. 0.99 area to the left of this z score. All right. So, we are going to use the function norms i uh, norms inv norms inv now there is a function norm without the s norms means that you're looking for the standardized the z score if you don't use the s then excel thinks that you've you've got a, a population mean and a standard deviation and all this stuff but we're just looking at the standardized normal distribution. So norms INV, and then what it looks for is just, it just asks for the probability. And the reason I took the time to write this out is because I wanted to show you that this is what you're going to type in. So whatever that area is to the left of, uh, of, of this z-score, that's, that's what you're going to put in. And in general, another way you could, you could key that in is you could put in half, the way that the Excel works, <coughs> you could put in this 0.5 area. Let me draw this out, a new one. So 0.5 plus 0.5 multiplied by whatever your confidence level is. And that will give you this, the rest of this area up to, up to what you're looking for. So that's, that's another way to look at that, to, uh, to key that in there. Okay, I'm going to type it in now. 
So equals norms INV. The probability that we're looking for, we said 0.99. That's the area to the left of the z-score that we're looking for. Now I'm going to continue with this. I close the parentheses. Now I, I'm, that is the z-score. If I just do that, I'm just going to get the z-score. But I'm going to say, go ahead and multiply by the square root of, and open up the parentheses, and this proportion. We've got uh, 0.48 multiplied by 1 minus 0.48. And I know you could put in 0.52. That's fine divided by, now we need divided by uh, n, which is the sample size, and we have 50 for the sample size. Okay, so again, we've got the, the z right here, and then the rest of the equation for the, uh, for the margin of error. There it is, 0.16. So this margin of error that we were looking for equals 0.16. Six. So adding that and subtracting it to the 0.48, we get a confidence interval. Let's just write this out. I'm going to have 0.48 minus 0.16 and 0.48 plus 0.16. So in the end, 0.48 minus 0.16 equals 0.32. And 0.48 plus 0.16 gives you 0.64, adding and talking. I should be able to do that. So another way to, to present this is 48% uh, of the people like the pizza, plus or minus 16%. That's, that's what the margin error says. Okay, so that was using Excel to, to find the Z-score, really, is, is what we did there.